Scaffolding is a really interesting concept and it's very commonly used especially in high schools and universities and there's no reason why it can't be used in primary schools as well, as well and often it is. Scaffolding can be in two different ways. One, to divide your lesson up into lots of mini tasks, just like I suppose a scaffold. Um, or two, to divide a particular task up into um, lots of little tiny tasks. So for example, if you're learning how to uh, operate on someone's heart at university, um, that, that would be divided up into 50 little tiny steps. Okay? And the same with kids. If you're teaching kids how to, so for example, plant a plant, uh, make a sandwich, lay bricks, um, whatever you're teaching them, dividing it up into tiny little steps is probably the best way to go. And then you can spend five minutes on each. Very important that you demonstrate how to do it in real time to begin with so that students know where they're going to be at the end or what to aim for. Um, importantly, dividing a simple or dividing a complex task up into small chunks. That's what scaffolding is all about and even if it's something for 10 minutes like a student doesn't understand a particular concept like uh, democracy or freedom or something along those lines. Um, and of course for interest it can be dividing a two hour session up into 10 small bite sized bits that are digestible and, and it means you've got a series of short goals as well that all come together to make one overall skill or competence um, at the end. And of course when you're dividing things up make sure it's logical or usually divisible. If you've got one task um, you divide it into lots of equally sized bits as opposed to one big bit a couple of little bits. Generally that's the best way to do it. And that's scaffolding.